Hi and welcome again with our second video of ASP.NET Core with Flutter. So as we said in our second video, we give a small introduction about uh, Flutter. Uh, what's the Flutter and why we are using Flutter. Uh, so today what we are going to do uh, as we mentioned last time just will create the ASP.NET Core API for the back end and we'll get after that the uh, front end Flutter front end so today our uh, video will be on uh, ASP.NET Core so today we'll see how we'll to create the API and the plan for today is just to create uh, it will be simple the uh, api just our job is how to call it and present it in the flutter the main job it will be in the flutter not in the uh, asp.net core but i will show you how to create this api uh, so we, so it's for today just will create the models and repository and services so we'll use uh, something with the called entier application so we'll use something good uh, uh, let's try to do it together step by step so first things we need is to uh, open visual studio so we'll create a new project uh, this project will be asp.net core web application so give name let's uh, have student api uh, say two Create. So we'll choose now which type of a project we need. We need to choose API, uh, not web application, because we, we don't need anything there, just to need to create our API. To choose the place and everything, that's fine. I think I need to put my antivirus off. Yeah, thank you. Okay, now we create the API. We can do everything here in this project, but we'll try to split uh, our uh, code. So we'll do it in the proper way. It will be better for us and how, how to, to learn more than anything, how to use uh, more than ent uh, entire to split our code. So uh, let's choose here. Uh, uh, it will be we'll cho choose a library now class library we don't need to choose full application so we'll choose class library for dotnet core so this one which will be student uh, dot data to create our models in this one so it will be simple models let's uh, let's suppose this how our table will be so uh it will be their id name first name last name it could be let's create now class uh, let's call it uh, student. This is student here. We, as we said here, let's make it first uh, public. So let's say, sorry, not private. Will be public. Rob. It will be end. Let give ID. Let's say again, public string. We'll have. Uh, first name that's it and we'll have let's say a uh, last name let's say string we'll say last name uh, maybe you can put uh, gender uh, okay, let's leave it now. String, make it easy. Maybe after can change should be should be int, but we'll use it now as integer. Uh, let's say what gender. Okay, get set. Now we are fine. We have created our model. So uh, the second library we need to add it. Let's say the services in the services. We'll have all our signatures. Signatures mean just our method signatures. Students dot services. 
so let's suppose what we'll have there we'll have a class or interface we'll call it uh, uh, let's, uh, let's say call it I student we, you can add class or you can add interface from the add items so uh, let's call this class I student mm, yes good so uh, as we said it should be interface not the class let's say public uh, interface we call I student so in this interface we'll have our signatures so uh, example for this signatures we can say student just student not student uh, I don't know call it that will be from data nice so we'll call it get to be just to get one student so I need to send ID for this uh, method if I want to go I get all this student I can create I am nor no, I am notable nor, nor or or queryable one of them you can use but I prefer always to use a, a queryable because it's better and faster than I I am notable I don't know if I say it good or no so let's say get students to be oh what happened here uh, I don't need this one. I will fix it now. So it will be just get, not set here. Because we are just getting this one. That call link here. Oh, it's fine. Nice. So we get one if we need. We get all if we need. As a, uh, uh, Let's suppose, let's curable to be as a list. Let's suppose like that. And students would be just as a student, one student. So we, uh, let's say if I want to save or update. So I'm, I'm using something here. I can say, uh, I'm going to call it save only now. I can use save for both of them, for updating student or, uh, yeah, for updating and for editing a new student. So it will be instance of a student. But I think, the, I think it will be, Uh, we can put it void. Yeah, I'll do it void now. Okay. So, uh, so after that, we need same. I need if I need to delete. So I said, okay, uh, to delete student. So same add. I need to send ID to delete one student. I think this our interfaces are fine. So getting student many student saving and updating here will be and this deleting let's close it now so uh, the third library it will be the repository uh, it will be maybe harder than this one or more code than this one that all of them simple things nothing there so again let's choose class library we said next uh, let's call it students but you can call it repo or repository or anything. Let's call it repo for short. Let's say enter. So uh, in this repo, I want to just create first the, uh, the the DB context first. After that, we can maybe a second video can continue on it because I don't need to be long videos. So I need to add the class here. And this is the class, what I need to add here inside it. I said, let's call it student uh, db context. Let's add our connection string. So this db context will be inherited from db context. Context. So let's. Let's import the DB. Yeah, I need this one. Latest version, nice. So inside it, I'm just like installing the entity framework. So inside this one, I just need to write the my method. 
or the constructor it will be for uh, DB student. Uh, okay, I will pass DB context options. Inside this option, I pass say in the constructor. I'll call it options. Just here, I'm building my my let's say connections of yeah you can say my connections to build your tables and everything so uh, the entity framework entity, entity framework yeah exactly so so there when I need to run the project I should have one table in my database that table is student so how to create this table uh, if in the future you will use the uh, db migration to migrate our database so it will be read it from the entity framework to create the table automatically because we are using here uh, something they call it first code approach not db first so i'm not designing the database after that i'm writing my code no i'm writing my code from my, my code i can generate my database i think it's more popular this way now uh, then the old way to have to create your database, design your database, after that you can uh, write the code or something like that. I prefer this way now, better than the old way. Uh, so this table should be generated in the database as students. So it should be type of student. Uh, here we finished nothing more than here uh, but let me just very fast I need to put it in uh, well let's say in the next video we'll continue our, to finish our repository because we'll be uh, a few lines more there we'll create a new class to write our repository at the same time we need to uh, create a new controller to call our our uh, uh, our data from the tables so see you in the next video. Bye-bye.